Hello, my name is Paddy Fawcett. I work for Invitio Integrated Product Design in Malvern. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about why you need a competent product design company. So you've got the world's best innovation ever and uh, you'd like to take it to market. Maybe you can make it yourself. Perhaps you need to, uh, uh, perhaps your vision extends beyond making more than a few units per year. So perhaps you need to get it manufactured. And how do you go about doing that? Well, <clears throat> you know the world's going to love this idea of yours, but uh, you haven't got the millions that it requires to, to develop it, and it usually does cost millions. So you're going to need some supporters, some backers, uh, and you're going to need to carry the, your vision along. You're going to need to bring them with you on your journey. So you probably want to get some product visualizations done at some point. I mean, of course, they want to see plausible numbers, your, your marketing analysis, your business plan, your business model, and so on. They want to know about your product as well. Uh, and showing it is, is, is the simplest way to do it. So you'll engage a product design company. Um, but be careful to, to, to choose a good company because the image you present is, is really crucial. Uh, <clears throat> the investors want to be sure that this product's going to sell as well. So you need, you need to have a good concept there. You need to show, show a good idea. And it's not that easy. Um, it looks easy when you get it right. So the first iPhone, it looked just right. It was, it was simple, pure design, nice design. Um, but it took a lot of thought to get that purity and simplicity into the design and the proportions just right. And you have to remember that before that, every phone was a flip phone and a Mars bar phone, so it was a bold move as well. Uh, the, other, the other tricky thing is you can, you can find a company who will do great visualizations, really exciting uh, concept for you, but perhaps it can't be made. That's not a big mistake in these early stages. You haven't spent too much money. Um, and doing a U-turns, not the end of the world. You, you know, you might lose a few people who support the original idea, but it's not too big a deal. But design is not just applied styling. You've got a new function in this innovation of yours, uh, and you want to make sure your product works really well and that people love it. Um, and there are well-trodden processes to get your product through to the end of the process. Uh, I haven't got time to cover those today in this talk, but uh, you, you're probably going to use a stage gate process, you might use continuous process, but all of them are, are grounded in having a very good understanding of your market needs and wants. And the upstream parts of those processes, you can have a big influence on the success of your design. It's all about understanding your market, understanding the, uh, the competitors, what they're doing, and, and setting the requirements that you need from your product. And there's a bit of an art to defining requirements. You don't say the product should have an on-off button. You say it needs to turn on and off because a software solution might be a better solution than a physical, physical button. So part of the skill of the product design consultancy is to take that requirement and convert it into really exciting, compelling concepts. And they will use a toolbox of form languages and styling cues in order to create a really great looking concept. Possibly even manipulate your perception to make the product look slimmer or tougher if that's something that it requires. You'll also use prototyping. Uh, all of this is about trying to validate your concept early, make sure that the different aspects of the design work well. And there are different types of prototyping, visual prototypes, functional prototypes. Um, pre-production, etc. And the next phase is fleshing out that design, uh, getting into the nitty-gritty, defining the materials more precisely, uh, working on what are the correct manufacturing techniques, and there are thousands of manufacturing techniques, uh, so it's important to, to pick exactly the right one. They each have benefits and limitations, so you need to choose exactly the right technique. I frequently hear people say, well, 3D printing, everything's going to be 3D printed. It's really not the case. It's got appropriate uses in appropriate places, but there's not a single part on a production car that's currently 3D printed. So understanding those techniques really helps to, to make sure the right, uh, the right parts are designed the right, in the, with the right techniques. And why, why does that matter? So if you get it wrong, you're not going to be able to fit things together. There's going to be clashes, gaps. The, part, the product's not going to go together. Maybe, maybe you get it together, but it's not working correctly. Maybe you manage to get it all working, but you have reliability issues. Reliability issues can be the downfall of a company. 
Um, we, we still think of Fiat cars, for example, as, as rusting, and that's due to issues they had in the 60s. It's a very hard to shake bad reputation. So all of these problems cost time and money. Uh, and time can mean that you know, if you have issues, you then you've got to keep your team on for longer. The whole program development takes longer. Possibly you miss your product window opportunity as well. Um, and the cost can be huge. You're quite committed at this stage. You spend a lot, spent a lot of money on development. Uh, and also perhaps you have to do some retooling. Retooling can cost hundreds of thousands of pounds. So it does matter. It becomes quite serious at this point. Uh, and it's important to use a consultancy who can help navigate you through all of these issues. So in summary, if you want to spend less, get to your end result quicker, have less stress, it's important you use a competent consultancy that can guide you through this process. Thank you very much.